they go one step too far. Um, you highlight there's a congressional attempt to increase their pay uh, that, 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 that backfires spectacularly. Can you just, uh, as, as perhaps a, a moment of humility to all of the goings on in D.C. at this time, can you just touch on that episode? Yeah, so there's one thing you have to understand that people really got upset at back in the day, and this was just something that whenever they tried to do it in um, Congress, people always revolted the next election. And this is why I think we now have a, 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 an amendment that was passed in like the early 90s, long, long after it was announced, like way at the beginning of the country's founding, basically preventing this. Uh, if you're a politician and you want to raise your own pay, don't <laughs> don't raise your own pay for the current congressional session and then sock the taxpayers with the bill. This just seems as like an enormous insult to most people because the public is suffering during the war. There's all these issues. There's all these sacrifices being made. And then sort of in this chaos of the post-war economy, Congress basically votes to increase its pay and then they just present the taxpayers with the bill. So this uh, this this compensation was just seen as enormously egre egregious, and it leads to um, a sig significant uh, a turn, you know, a turnout and a turnover in the elections of 1816 when Monroe is made uh, president. He was pretty much running unopposed at that time period, uh, but a lot of congressmen are kicked out uh, because they had voted for this law. Mm -hmm.